Hey, it's Monday, February 4th, and I'm having cold nachos and chai tea in my Chicago Starbucks mug. And I am way behind on my schedule. I couldn't get out of bed. So I had brunch because I had breakfast at 11.30, finished at noon. I like breakfast. I enjoy my breakfast. And then I went outside to shovel and then, you know, shower, hair, makeup, whatever. Then I got hungry and I started eating again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Food dictates my life. I'm I'm working on this, but I just had a little snack, just uh, nachos and organic salsa with a ton of cheese. But that's okay. That doesn't count. Anyways, um, the next things on my agendas were doing the perpetual calendar for the Graphic Forty Five Easel Calendar, which I have finished. So I think I'm going to insert the footage right now. I did a flip through, so I'm going to show you that now. So this is January. Obviously, I'm not going to use it anymore because we're past, but oh well. It's still nice to look at. I really like how it turned out. I love the um, how the stickles look. Here. Stuff to see sometimes on camera. It's, it's hard to pick up those little glitter and stuff. But then we're on to... February. <laughs> then we have my famous March and April um, pages. So I think it flows now as opposed to having the two ladies going the same way. I really like that. And then when you flip that open, well, this is April. And again, you know, there's stickles on each page. Then we've got May, which is a page that we had cut. Uh, the bottom part of and I like the way they had us embellish this here with the super thick brad here I really like that uh, you can see the stickles here and I also added some stickles on the um, the polka dots on the dress you can kind of see it here yeah and then we go on to June I like this page. I decided to add this element. Um, I believe we had done until June on in the original class. It, it was in June actually. This was the last page that we did in the class. I think we only did six pages. I just decided to turn this into a calendar. But So this was the last page that we had done. I kept the layout the same way, um, but I added a different lady and I decided to fussy cut this flower from the uh, the big page that includes the big geisha and I stickled the the flower and I just here on the on the lady I just stickled some of the borders on her dress so now I gotta switch oh and this is the um, the last page that I have so I'm not sure exactly, I, I mean I may end up cutting it off, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to leave that on and I'll think about what I want if I do decide to um, to leave it in. And so now we're uh, in July. Um, actually, we did this page too in class because I remember that whole scenario with the... Um, did we do that? Yeah, I think we did. Anyways. So again, lots of stickling on the flowers here. I like this, it looks like a flower box with the little images popping up. Lots of dimension on this one. I ended up popping a lot of elements. August, which is the back of the half page or the three quarter down page. And for this one, I took a big piece. Uh, again, this is all part of that original page for uh, from January with the geisha. And um, I isolated that part of the page, and then I just fussy cut around this here. So this is one big piece. Added some stickles to the flowers, and then I added to the three stamps here and the month. This is September. I wanted to make this page uh, special because it's my month, uh, my birthday month, but it, it, it's also everybody's uh, birthday 
in my family. My both my two kids and my husbands were all my husbands. <laughs> both my two kids and my husband were all born in September. So I wanted to make this a nice vibrant page and I really like how it turned out. I kind of made it like um it looks like a good fortune window almost. <laughs> I find I like it. I like the image. And so I added some stickles to the butterfly and I'm going to try and zoom in so you can see she has on the image she has pearl earrings and I added some liquid pearls in white opal on here to mimic real pearls. Uh, here. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. And I added two brads here. The actual, uh, this part here was just one piece. And then I, I decided to add some uh, letter stickers to spell happy birthday. Good fortune was already there. And then I decided to add um, happy birthday. And these are two uh, circle stickers. And then I poked two brads in there. And I added one here at the bottom, three circles to make kind of like a triangle. This is October and November. I ended up, oh sorry, I ended up mirroring exactly the same layout um, that I did for um, March and April. It's just the, it's mirrored actually. So we've got October here and uh, pretty, you know, much like the other pages, two little stamps, another lady with some stickling. Show you a close up of the lady. I didn't add too much stickle on there. And then we flip it over and we've got November. And I decided to add some. They had given us um, during that class their Graphic 45's uh, trim kit. And so I used some of that lace and this. Um, printed twill ribbon right here at the bottom. I just thought it needed something in there. And then I fussy cut the bird again from the, the first uh, page that I used right here. And just a little bit of stickling on the cherry tree in the background. And the last month is December. And so what I did for the stamper, it's very, very simple, but I used a lot of the pattern paper. I wanted to um, create kind of like a Christmassy color scheme without being too Christmas. So instead of using uh, green for the uh, this pattern paper, this is turquoise, but it still looks like Christmas to me. I like the reds and the black. It looks like a Chinese, what would be my version of a Chinese Christmas or New Year's or whatever. And I like this image, so instead of putting a lady on the last month, I added these two birds and um, I added some stickles here on the berries in the tree. And I added three words to make the visual triangle, so I've got longevity, harmony, and joy in the month of December. And this is it for my calendar. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I'm really happy that I got to finish this. Thanks for being patient because I know that I've been wanting to finish this and show you for a while. And I've also been cutting out bits and pieces of the leftover paper because some of them, some of it is really, really nice. Like there was a sheet with all kinds of images this size and this would be a beautiful, um, Oh, I'm sorry. You guys have something in your face. Let me, let me take care of that. <laughs> you had this in your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hair. All better? Good. Like I was saying, this would make a beautiful bookmark. So with the leftover paper, I cut them all up into pieces that I could use. And plus there were tags and titles and journaling spots or journaling yeah tags or whatever 
And I also fussy cut a couple of these images. I had two pages of that, and this is, um, ugh, it's tough to see. It's a bird with some flowers, so I fussy cut around that one. I'm going to use that. And I also isolated some of the borders that were leftovers. And these are just the bits and pieces that I have. And these are my, oops, my bigger pieces. So I'm going to use all those to make cards and projects because I'm about to make the, um, the perpetual calendar book to coordinate with the easel calendar. And by the way, I have to mention that I, it, it's not my original idea. The way I'm going to fold the pages and put the book together, I got this idea from a YouTuber called Yoli Bean, and I'll, I'll list her channel name below, or her channel below. So this is totally not my idea. I'm just using different papers, and I'll probably embellish, um, embellish the cover differently, and also, you know, the months... Uh, the num the numbers for the, m the days of the months will probably be different because I'm going to make it from scratch. But the idea of how to fold the pages is totally hers. So I stole that from her. I don't know if it's her original idea, but this is where I saw it. Um, oh, these are the two sticker sheets that I have left over. I'm going to use that too. And I went into my 12 by 12 paper stack and I took a few sheets. I actually needed six papers, six sheet of paper, not six papers. Can you pluralize paper? Or can you do that? Can you pluralize paper? I don't know. Anyways, so <laughs> they're kind of like weird. Now they're not in the proper order or whatever, but these are the pages that I'm going to be using. So like I said, I needed six papers, so I'm going to be folding those. And this is the paper I'm going to use to decorate the cover. Obviously, I'm not. it's not going to be a 12 by 12 book. And um, I had on my agenda to do the calendar, the perpetual calendar book, but it's not going to happen today because it's uh, very late in the afternoon and I have to film a tutorial for the store and I have not started. I know what I'm making, but I also wanted to talk to you about the results from the question that I had asked you for the giveaway. And um, here are the results. The uh, card making was the first category. Of, the question was, in case um, some of you are new to these, this channel, the question was, what kind of tutorials do you want to see in the future on this channel? So card making was the first one at 32%. Uh, the second one was mini albums, calendars, and such at 22%. Then a close third was mixed media and art journaling at 20%, organization 17%, and the last one coloring technique at 9%. So this is very valuable information to me. I really do appreciate you all for helping me out with this. It means a lot to me. I appreciate the time that you took to answer this question. Thank you so much. And my camera keeps doing goofy things. The lighting keeps changing here. I don't know why. So that's it for this weekend roundup edition. I will start working now. And as usual, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'll see you later.